So this project is called Black Mirror and the episode is episode number four. It's called Maisy Day. And uh, when I first heard about it, everyone on the team got pretty excited because we worked on Black Mirror on the first season, like many years ago, and now it's coming back to us again. And when we heard that we're going to be doing a werewolf, everyone was freaking out about it and say, I want to be part of that. This episode is like a criticism about paparazzi in general. And uh, the story follows Maisie, a very fam famous actress that starts going through a rough period and uh, she got uh, like an isolation and goes into rehab on a cabin in the middle of the woods and the paparazzi journalists follow her until they find out something very dark about it. The biggest challenge was creating a transformation asset that could go from a full digidouble of Maisie all the way to a full werewolf. We had to incorporate key poses because we knew at a certain point Maisie's skull would transform before her snout would extend maybe or her teeth grow. So we built an asset that could go from A to B in a nice linear move and we could work out where along the transformation she is at any given point and then we could build on, on those poses um, as the shot um, evolved. The idea behind the wolf is that it needs to feel uh, aggressive and scary, but at the same time, uh, it needs to feel like it came from a mixture between a wolf and a woman. So uh, the first concept we got was a bit more on the demon helm with like pointy ears, very, very long limbs. And we started like to narrow it down and move it towards more to resemble a wolf and like some canine uh, features, like especially around the muzzle and the ears. We shorted the limbs a little bit so they will be more practical. Because imagine like someone running with those long limbs would be weird. But it still retain a little bit of that. And we also wanted to introduce a bit of like the human aspect to it. So a bit of like human uh, anatomy and the muscles and so at the end, it became this kind of mixture, like model and anatomy wise. The groom, uh, at first we thought it was gonna be like a very thin layer, but it's, we started like going more into the direction of adding more and more hair. Not enough to be like fully covered, but enough for it just read like as a long fur, especially around the head where hair, like long hair would become something in that area. So yeah, that's how we got the look. Creative considerations was always linking uh, Maisie to the werewolf. So, um, so the werewolf's proportions were um, tweaked uh, to, to um, be more in a little bit in line with Maisie. So for instance, her, her back legs were slightly longer like, like a human um, proportions. So when the werewolf was moving, it felt a little bit like a, a person on all fours, as well as being a powerful beast. Um, also, similarly, when we came to Groom and Lookdev, uh, we added in um, slightly wet, clumpier fur to help that feeling of Maisie having trans uh, gone through this struggle to transform from a human to a werewolf. So we've been using Houdini for grooming creature effects, effects and lighting for many years now, especially for grooming and sea effects. We are one of the first like big companies to switch to it like six years ago. And uh, when this project came, it was obviously like our first choice on what software to use. So in summary, really, really happy with the results. We, um, we managed to produce a piece of work. Everyone's really positive about it. Everyone really enjoyed working on. Uh, creatives, clients were really happy also because we were able to really fine tune the details and turn around results for them very quickly, helping them achieve the look that they were after.